Bed Gen Studios. Change the name is a bit, but hey, here we are. So we're gonna do some tips and tricks on how to improve your park in Roblox's Theme Park Tycoon 2, I'm pretty sure is the name. So here we are. I have 150,336, or I guess that much money. Um, 66 guests, 19 park lakes. My name, my park name is the Underground. This is just an example on how to do a good role play park, or just a park that is based on a game or something like that. This is based on Undertale. Um, I put credits here, but you're not going to need to see that. So, you know, I added some elements that make you feel like you're in the game. I tried to put my own spin on it, and um, I used... You can't hear it now, because I have um, I have music turned off, but I do have every single game pass, as you can see, right down here. And this allows me to do pretty much anything, which I love. Sure, I still have to make money, but, you know, I can manage... So this is my interpretation of everything, and it adds some cool roleplay elements. I mean, of course, this is almost all made up, but that um, right there is supposed to be um, when you come right out of the hallway that is like the hallway to Toriel's house, and you see a room on the left that goes out to a balcony. You see the entire home, which I love, um, so I try to recreate that as best as I can. I use some froggets, and this is an image panel. And I'm probably gonna change this to black and um, uh, black and white, so that it seems more like the game. I need some um, cool elements to it. This is the world-renowned frog room with every single frog, spider bake sale. They're present around everything here. Um, just a few rides. There's Toriel's house, and of course this is not anything close to the ruins, but I do my best. This is um, a Napstabluke ride, but down here is my interpretation and my version of the ruins. And just, you know, using characters and their names to make it seem way better. Well, um, you know, my gosh, this is just, I don't know. Just some cool lore. I, I'm going to say lore. This is um, where you first meet Naps to Luke. And here is the spider bake sale that is right next to it. And then here's the donut. And here's the jug. You have the mouse, which someday come out and eat the cheese. Busy with determination, which I love as well. So we go over here. Then, you know, we're adding some cool role play elements. See, this is when I started implementing the um, black and white just like the game um, I'm you know Christmas decoration storage all that stuff I'm just not finished yet but I really do love this park and it's just my example of how to do role play right I mean this is of course all theming and it basically the entire park is just boxes um, for different rooms but hey that's okay I'm going to do an entirely separate video on all of this and go and ride each ride. I currently only have um, part of Snowden and then the ruins done. Um, you know, here's Toriel. And then, like, imagine this is Pi. We go down here. This is actually the song from the uh, soundtrack, um, Heartache, which is when you fight Toriel. And then... Here's my first real major piece of roleplay. You can either do a genocide route or a mercy route. Of course, I only have the neutral and the um, true ending or true passive ascending um, dialogue and not fight um, genocide, I guess. And you know, you either defeat or mercy her. And then here is... Um, uh, wait, this is supposed to be snow. It says, that's censored, but that says snow blows into the room through the open door. And then you get here. Sans is actually playing in the background. 
Um, I'm gonna add that probably in post. I don't know. Um, you know, I just try to mirror his dialogue with my own spin on it. Here's the gate with the bars that are too wide, and then uh, papyrus and sans. I'm doing all lowercase here, and then this is of course his own special font. And then this is like you know, please, this area is not complete. Um, I'm gonna do waterfall soon because everything here costs so much money. And waterfall, obviously. Um, lesser dog skirmish is adding really cool characters to it, and giving these rides actually a purpose. And of course, through theming, you can make this look like a forest. I'm not done yet. Um, this is supposed to be the shop with the innkeeper and stuff like that, but I'm probably not going to build all of that. Um, we have the Christmas tree and grill bees, which is new. I just I actually added this today. Um, this is, of course, plain sands. You know, you got grill bee, greater dog here. Um, I'm probably going to add all the other characters here, too. Um, the booths. Of course, they don't have the actual booths, so I had to improvise. God, camera's going everywhere. Um, I don't know what these rides are going to be yet, but I'm just going to try to add it, characters from the game. So probably, you know, the Royal Guard. Um, and I'm, I'm going to take sprites from the game and I'm going to add them in here. Um, we're actually going to go on this ride because it's just how you can do a coaster while also trying to imitate a game or do a representation of it in Roblox. So as you can see, everything's glitching out. Um, I'll show you what that is in a minute, but we go here. Bone Trousel is supposed to play, but I have music off. So we go over here. This... Of course, there aren't trees here, but when you first encounter um, Papyrus... Oh, God, I fell. Um, when you first encounter Papyrus... Well, not first encounter, but when you battle Papyrus, there's all the smoke and stuff like that, and it shows his silhouette. And then I'm trying to replicate his dialogue. I don't think... I didn't think I did a very good job of this. I'm going to add a roof here. Um, but over here, if we go... This is my one of my favorite bits. It's the, the menu, so you can know you can act and then do the, all that stuff. And then this is like fighting papyrus, so you get you know the bones, you know all that stuff. I used a lot of blue ones, even though he doesn't actually have a lot of blue attacks or blue bones. So you know you have the bones here. You're dodging them, and then so every once in a while I put a bone on the track so that you can actually get hit and you take damage. But, you know, it's just something cool I like. And then you can, either Great Papyrus will spare you now. And then you can have a choose to either fight him or mercy him. And then he's either dead or he's alive here. Of course, everything here is banking on that you want to be good. Down here is very incomplete, but this is where the ice, well, down there is supposed to be where the ice wolf is throwing the, um, the cubes down the river to waterfall. And here we have the river person, which I will redo because that is a small guy. Oh, God, that looks terrible. Anyways, um, I'm experimenting here, but you try to make the point of role play or just a a game that you can basically make Undertale in here, as long as you do some rearranging. But, um, of course, as you can see here, here's what's meant to be the waterfall. I mean, no one's probably going to see this, but if this is... If you don't know, this isn't naturally dark. I actually added in... Um, uh, black wooden roofs and black pieces. You can't add them here, but in this this time uh, you can actually you don't get to see the um the black wood pieces. But you know how in waterfall there everything is just a big old abyss once you get through the waterfall. So I'm trying to replicate that but 
this is just taking inspiration and of course this is really expensive but if you're truly a fan of something you can do anything here you can create stuff you can use sprites and image panels which if you want to know how I got all those characters these are image panels so this is just an example on how to do a well, play park, right? Because you feel like you're actually there most of the time. Your sand station, which I'm going to change up because it looks terrible. But if you want to do snow and you don't want to purchase um, the snow that's falling down, you can use. Here, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you an example. So the snow launches or snow cannons are expensive. They're really expensive. I know that. But if we go over here, we have a water emitter and smoke emitters. What you can do is this is the first one that affects the smoke. You can make it seem like snow is blowing through. Um, via wind and here we can also change the snow so that snow is either falling down it's a much cheaper way to um, it's a much it's a very cheap way actually of using utilizing um, and basically just saving money because this is actually snow you can see it here but um, that like took a big old chunk out of my budget because I start because um, a few days ago, I had 200k, and then I spent about 65 on um, snow cannons, and it was really expensive. There was only like four of them, or something like that. So yeah, of course there are some limitations, like you can't always find the sprites that you want, and you can always upload them yourself, because they don't actually cost anything. But just try to add some of your own lore, too. Like, this is where the Royal Guard used to be stationed, before um, the king moved the capital or Asgore. But I. That isn't actually canon, but I made it. But in this version of Undertale, I did make it canon. I need to change all these to um, pink. Yeah. So, anyways, utilize sprites from the game or fan made ones as long as they don't look too bad. It just space is always full. Um, try to use the neon lights to make ambient lighting. And if everything looks terrible on the outside, like this, it's fine. I mean, you can't always get what you want, but sometimes you can get something really cool like that. On um, the battle sequence. A lot of stuff here was used after buying um, the no collisions and music. Um, if you want to make a more ambient park, just use no collisions. Of course, this is actually really tips and tricks, unless you want to get a role play park or something that makes you feel like you're actually there. So, if a recreation is what you're going for, I highly suggest that you do this. And why didn't I use all this the same tree? Because that's boring, and I don't like it when people do that. So if you want to avoid that, just don't buy the same tree. Sure, this tree's, you know, it's very cheap, but go for some really expensive stuff, because it'll look amazing like that. Of course, there's only so much you can use with um, snow-covered stuff, but... Do your best, and you'll make a truly great park. So I'm probably going to wrap up this video here because I don't have much else to talk about. But if you want to consider, you know, supporting me, subscribe because I'm probably going to try to try to um, get some more people, or not people, um, videos made because I have a an injured leg, so I am basically stuck to the couch for a while so but I'm going to end it here and uh, I will see you whenever I make a new video could be in 20 years could be now I don't I don't know 
and we just goodbye.